वेलकम टू माई चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू रिस्ट्रेक्ट स्पेसिफिक टाइप ऑफ रिबोर्ट लाइक पी आई पी बिजनेस इंटेलिजेंस पब्लिश और रिबोर्ट पॉय इधर बिजनेस यूनिट डाटा एक्सेस एसिट लीजर सॉरी एसिट बुक और लीजर व्हाट डज इट मीन As you know, in Oracle there are a lot of tools for reporting. One of them is PIP, Business Intelligence Publisher. This is a tool you can, or the developer, will create a report by these tools. Once he collect the requirement from a functional team or from the stakeholders, he will build the code. meters layout and so on in this video how to restrict this type of report as a pip to only give the users specific business unit specific asset ledger uh, as a book specific ledger specific data access for example if i have created report ap i have user a user p and user c and i the developer create report in gl and report in fa and report for ce here ab or ar so by default once i create a report and this user for each report there are some parameters parameters one of them for example business unit one of them ledger name one of them for example asset book and the date start from to supplier name customer and la 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 by default once i enable this report in the shared folder of reports and the if any of these users run For example, report AB slash AR. In the business unit parameters, he will find all of the business unit. But in fact, user A has only access to business unit A. User B has access to business unit B. User C, business unit A and B. So, how to restrict the report with the users? So restriction means once the user A run report A slash A B slash A R, he will find in the list of the value of parameters business unit only business unit A, and the same for the business unit B, and for the user C he will find two business unit because he already have access to business unit A and B. so user a will not see any data related to business unit p user p will not see any data related to business unit a and c he can see e and p the same for gl ledger e for as access to ledger a p for ledger p and c ledger a and p again for fa asset book 1 asset book 2 asset book 1 and 2 and ce as for example legal entity 1 legal entity 2 and legal entity 1 and 2 so in some cases 
in usual you have to sit with the developer to find a good solution you not just depend or waiting the developer give you a solution sometime if you have a good solution you can discuss it with the developer team to check is it possible to do it or not to achieve the requirement either from the client or your organization what we did for example this is the list of the report which we already created some of them in EP, some of them in EGL, some of them in AR we created for each report duty rule if you see here is a report name EG underscore supplier details report we define a duty rule EG supplier details the same EG invoice on hold, EG invoice on hold and so on so we created a duty rule how to create a duty rule it's very simple just navigate to application cancel I take the for example this and duty rule as AG invoice on hold just edit to show you what we put rule name what is the rule code and the rule category as a financial duty rule this is a list of value financial duty rule functional and data security there is no no data field in these fields once we create a duty rule so now the process is report created and duty rule created also for each report right how to link the duty rule to report because this duty rule here is related to this report and this to this so this not related to this or this this AG invoice on hold it means that this duty rule related to this in report so how to link between the duty rule and the report name let me take EG invoice on hold report duplicate we will link in the parameters of second in the parameters of the business unit or ledger or asset book or legal entity so I will navigate to the report from tools and report and analytics because the type of this report is PIP so just navigate from tools and report and analysis then prowess catalog this pass it will give you by the developer team because they will create any report whatever any report is created he will put it either here in shared folder as a custom or any specific path and to be honestly with you I am not developer I just developed a solution and share it to his developer and developer do it and it's working fine for example this is our report the developer knows that for any report there are two things DM as a data model data model like the code SQL query BLSQL and parameters and the other thing as a report itself so once the users get the access he will see only report he can go to here open and run both the parameters and run the report so if you're not a developer you have to ask the developer to put the duty rule as a condition in the parameters of the report because here we said how to link duty rule to the report 
Just come here to edit as a data model. Developer knows that very well. Here you will find a list of values. One of them is business unit. If you go to down to this business unit as a parameters as a query. So this query has selected from blah 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 <coughs> to get sorry to get the data of this business unit. In the condition here you will find I can take it copy to be clear for you. Mm, this is stored like SQL SQL It's okay You see here child rule name equal EG invoice on hold This query of the parameter of the business unit as I told you before that one parameter of the report will be either business unit, either ledger, either asset of book and legal entity. In these parameters, these parameters or this report related to what? Related to EB. So the AP security in the AP or AR by what? By business unit. So the business unit will be a parameter of any report related to AP or AR. So in the parameters of the business unit, the developer must put a condition that the child dot rule name, this child means duty rule, equal the duty rule whatever is created for this report. So this is third step. So first the developer creates a report. Second, for each report you or any one of your team created the duty rule for each report and they try to name the duty rule like a report name. Third step is in the query or query of the parameters of each report, the developer must put a condition that the rule name or child or a duty rule must be equal the duty rule whatever is created for this report now what is the next step so duty rule created here duty rule condition put it in the query of the parameter. The next step how to assign this report to or this duty rule to a user. As you know, you cannot assign duty rule direct to user. So in this case, you will assign job rule user so you can custom a job rule and assign this duty rule to this job rule so I will have job rule duty rule so I can custom a job rule and the boot for this job rule one or two or three or whatever numbers of duty rule again what does it mean if i have this list of reports in ap so i can give all of these reports to one user how that i will create one job rule and in this one job rule i will assign all of these duty rule right and so on for GL, I have a lot of reports in GL. I can create one only job rule for GL and I send all of this duty rule to this job rule. After that, I will take this job rule and make access as a 
business unit or data access or legal entity or ledger to this user. And I will show you it later. So you created the report, you created a data role for each report, how to link duty rule to report in the parameters, how to assign the report or this duty rule to the users through job rule. Fine. Let's get into application. I think you know how to assign duty rule to job rule. Just cancel. I already created one custom rule. How to create a custom rule? Again, you have to go to create a rule and select instead of duty rule, you have to select financial rules. For example, if I came here to create a rule, rule name and the code and rule category, go to down financial job rule. I already created one before, I will show you it now. EG underscore testing. Again, what is the rule name, rule code, common job rule or financial job rule, this is up to you. Functional security or data security is nothing, null. In rule hierarchy, I put it the duty rule. If I search by duty rule of EG invoice and hold, one of our duty rules is duty rule, right? So I will search here. So I came here and add the duty rule of our report. I can add more, you can add more. Just take any of this duty rule and put it here. Search duty rule, this, and add rule membership. Done. So now I added another rule, so, sorry, duty rule. I can take another one and again add search by duty rule here. Here is this one, add the rule membership and so on. So in one job rule, I can assign a lot of duty rule. This duty rule in the parameters assigned to these reports. This is, this is it's clear, just job rule and assign whatever I created for the reports, duty rule, in this job rule. You can have one job rule, a lot of job rule. This is up to you and up to your business. Finish? Finish. What I will do now, I will create a user and assign this job rule to these users and give the users data access it. So I will come in users, add user account, default first name zero zero, last name dumbbell PIP email PIP at gmail.com. So the username will be I will keep it 00PIP password not save and close and I will assign to him EG testing job rule and rule membership and done so now I let me go to down. I create user and assign custom job rule to him. And this job rule is assigned to our duty rule. Right? 
ओके सेव एंड क्लोज नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू गिव दिस यूजर व्हाट व्हिच बिजनेस यूनिट एक्सेस यूनिट एज ए एक्सेस डेटा व्हिच लेजर यू विल असाइन दिस यूजर टू इट व्हिच एसेट बुक so go to setup and maintenance and manage data access set for access for user manage data access set here manage data access set data access for users like i will give this user permission to which business unit to which ledger to which legal entity to which asset book from here i will add a new one here ask you what is the user i create 00 pip right okay which rule he have only eg testing right this is a job rule security but here is the security we said asset book in fixed asset business unit in eb and dr control budget for control budget data access set for ledgers ledger for ledger legal entity maybe in cash management right I, in ep and dr i will give him business unit which business unit i will give him for example am and i can add more the same 00 pip the same rule because he there is one only job rule assigned to him business unit so i will give him permission to two business unit am and the ed what about what about ledger i will give him access to one ledger bip the same rule and ledger one ledger keep it also am ledger I will give him to DG Ledger. Asset book. I will give him access to one asset book. The same job rule. The same user. The same security context. But here asset book because it's related to fixed assets. So which book I will give him to AM book. So this user now have two access. for two business unit am and ed let me put it here created user user 00 pip for business unit he has ed and am ed am for ledger li dg for asset book only am book okay what does it mean again if i assign one report for ab or ar to these users and they try to run these users in the business unit parameter of this report he must see only ed and dm but if this report related to gl so again in the parameter of the ledger of this report the list of value must show only dg 
What about if this report is related to fixed assets? The parameters of the asset book for this report must give him only one option as AM book. Okay, let's do it now. Save and close. Done, done. Now I will log out by this users and I will log in by our new user 00PIP. Let me navigate incognito. Just boot 00PIP and the new password. Sign in. I think I have to assign one shop role to give him access to the report and here tools. There is nothing, so no problem. I will come back to users and give him access to as an employee because this employee will give him access to see the reports and the analytics again. Security console, user, user, search by zero zero PIP. Click add rule edit and add a rule rule name is employee add done it's added save and close done so come here just log out or sign out and try to log in again. Zero zero PIP the password. Go to tools. Now it's showing report and analytics. Before I go to reports, what we did, we create a report as a developer. We create for each report due to rule. The developer put the condition that for each report there is one due to rule. Put it in the parameters either business unit or ledger or asset book. After that, we create a one job rule as a custom or any current custom job rule and assign this duty rule to this job rule. Either all of the all duty rules of all reports or one duty rule, two, three, blah blah blah, and then either create a new user or for the existing users, we give him this job rule, and for each job rule, we tell the system for this job rule which business unit, which ledger, which asset book, which legal entity, and so on. And now we log in by this new user, and we are going to run one of these reports again. Prowess catalog. We will run EG invoice on hold. And this type of access is a data permission because there are two types of permission. The developer knows that very well. Object permission, data permission. What is the object permission? Object permission means who will see the report. Who will not see the report? 
but data permissions which data will be available for the users or the requester of the report. This video for data permission. Data permission means which data of this report it will be available for you or for the users. So I go to customs as a shared folder in refinance, financials, I can see AP. I will find a B invoice on hold. So, invoice on hold, the duty rule is assigned to our job rule and it put it in the parameter of the report name EG invoice on hold. We assign the job rule to the users and now our users, which business unit he have ED and AM, right? Because we give him access to only these two business units. Now, when these users try to run EG invoice on hold, he must find in the parameter of the business unit what two business unit only. Let us try here. This is to run the report. Open. Once you open, there are a lot of parameters. One of them is business unit, and this is required. Because this, we put it the condition of the duty rule in this query of the parameter. If I open, I will find only ED and AM. Let's come back to uh, ED and AM. ED and AM. Type, let me try to search. Maybe it will show all of the business unit. Okay, search. Only ED and AM. So I think now it's clear for you that the report restricted by the basic unit let me go to for any report of assets for example fa i don't know is it asset register is it assigned as a duty rule to the, this job rule or not asset book search only one asset book okay let me check asset book am book right so in the parameters of the asset book of any report related to fixed assets our users will give the, the, the reports parameters of asset book will show only am book and already it's there if i search it only am book and you can for ledger any report in gl you will find the same also i will show any report in gl go to gl eg finance gl report i think uh, count analysis or open and the close period this one also there is one due to rule go to search search only dg has a ledger so what is the ledger oh yes only he has access to only dg that's it i hope now to got this is like a business case and also it's very important for your project because once you developed the reward you will find a way how to restrict or how to assign or make a link between data access set and reward for each user. Thanks for watching. If you like my content. I hope to subscribe my channel. Thank you.